It is the crystal jewel in the crown of the Royal Botanic Gardens, an enormous, elegant, antique glass house now restored to its sparkling best. Built to cherish and protect the world's rarest plants, ageing joints and frames meant that Kew's temperate house was itself endangered. It's a fragile building, it's made of glass, and there's a reason why we are, you know, one of the, the only Victorian glass houses left. And the modern glazier's job was made easier by Victorian precision engineering. What we actually did was replace every single one. So 15,000 have been replaced on this building. 15,000 panes of glass? Yes, yes. And in fact, that amount of glass is really heavy. So when we put it back on the structure, we had to make sure that the building hadn't moved in the time that we'd taken it off. And in fact, we were very lucky it didn't. Fiddly doesn't seem enough to describe it, really. No, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a labour of love. <laughs> The temperate house comes from an age of empire and exploration, when thousands of examples of the plants that help humans live and breathe were gathered from across the inhabited world. In a modern age of environmental change, the collection has a new and vital importance. So this is wood cycad, it's the rarest plant in the world. The cycad comes in male and female versions. The females are now all extinct, so this old man leads a lonely and yet still maybe crucial life. When people say to me why we should we save endangered plants, I always tell them the story of the Madagascar periwinkle, because prior to the discovery of a chemical that's found in that plant, nine out of ten children died from leukaemia. Now, nine out of ten children survive, so that's why it's important. Who knows, we might have the cure for diabetes, for AIDS, for HIV, you name it, we may have it. But, but at the moment, only a small proportion of the plants of the world have actually been fully investigated. So if we lose one species tomorrow, who knows what cures we lose. In the words of its Victorian founders, Q is intended to supply the realm with everything that is useful in the plant kingdom. And in the place they built to do it, the work they began goes on. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.